This video is going to focus on the integrated rate law. Before we go on to the integrated rate law, we will revise on what we have uh, learned so far. You know that uh, we have something called as the order of the reaction and we have a differential rate law which is given in column 2. Then the corresponding integrated rate law is given in column 3. And then the integrated rate law is in the form of uh, y equals mx, uh, mx plus b uh, equation of a straight line and hence uh, plots will give you straight lines as shown in column 4 and the slopes and the intercepts gives you the value of k and the initial concentration and the units of k have got special importance here because with the units of k uh, they correspond to the order of the reaction and we have also learned that something called as the half-life of a reaction where half of the concentration is uh, uh, consumed or the reaction is produced, uh, the reaction rate is half of what is the original rate is and we, this video will focus on mainly the integrated rate law, how to calculate the value of k, the intercepts and the t half. Let's do one question based on the integrated rate law. A first order reaction takes 35 minutes for the concentration of the reactant to decrease from 0.56 molar to 0.43 molar at 25 degrees Celsius. Calculate the time taken for the concentration of the reactant to decrease by 80%. So we know we are familiar with three rate laws, the average rate law, the differential rate law and the integrated rate law. So which one I have to use for this? I cannot use the average rate law because I don't have the stoichiometry value of A and then change in concentration but it will not give me the correct answer because A is not known and I will not be able to use the order also in that and therefore let's use the next one differential rate law also. I will not be able to use that because I don't know the value of K. So let's, the only way I can do this question is using the integrated rate law. And in the integrated rate law, the first step is to get the value of k. Concentration of A at time t is given, that is 0 0.43. k we have to find out. And the time, 35 minutes, convert that into seconds. And then the initial concentration is given as 0.56 molar. And hence, substitute all these things. And I get the value of k as 1.2, 10 to the power of negative 4, second inverse. The unit of k is in accordance with the first order uh, rate law unit because uh, reaction with first order will have a k with a unit of second inverse. Now let's do step 2. I need to get the time. That's what they have asked. And what they have given is calculate the time taken for the concentration of the reactant to decrease by 80%. So therefore, I have to know the concentration of A at this time. So it is decreasing by 80%. So to calculate the concentration of A at T, we have to take away 80% of the initial concentration and hence concentration of A T comes as 0 0.11. Now I know the concentration, I know the initial concentration, I have the value of K, substitute into the equation and get the value of T and the value of T comes as 225 minutes. We will do one more question on the integrated rate law. The rate constant for a first order reaction is 7.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 minute inverse at 25 degrees Celsius. The initial concentration of the reactant is 0 0.046 molar. Calculate the concentration of the reactant after 78 minutes. This is a straightforward question where we can use the integrated rate law the value of uh, concentration uh, at zero time is given, the initial concentration. K is given, T is given. So we need to just substitute everything into that equation and calculate the value. The main purpose of taking up this uh, question is to show how to calculate the ln values and how to convert it into exponential values and get the actual value of the concentration. So when you substitute it, I get uh, ln AT equals ln 0 0.046 molar minus 7.5 10 to the power of negative 3 times 78. So 
the k and uh, time we have just kept it in the unit of minutes we are now we don't have to convert them into seconds and then concentration of a at t when you solve that after taking the ln of 0.046 comes as 3.67, negative 3.67. So, to get the concentration of 80, we have to take the exponential of that value. So, concentration of 80 becomes equal to e to the power of negative 3.67 and uh, I get the concentration of 80 equals 0 0.025 molar. So, we will do one more question. For a first order reaction, calculate the half life of the reaction when it is 45% complete in 72 minutes at 25 degrees Celsius. So, this is a question where they have asked you for the half life. So, the from the table, the half life of the first order reaction is T half equals 0 0.693 divided by K. So, what do we really need to calculate the value of half life? We just need the value of K. And to get K, use the integrated first order rate law. That is ln at equals ln a0 minus kt. So, our first step is to calculate the value of k using the first order integrated rate law. I have the, it, is, it says that the reaction is 45% complete. So, this is the one which will help you to get the value of at and a0. So, reaction 45% complete means concentration of at is 100 minus 45, that is 65. So, if the initial concentration was 100, the concentration of T, uh, concentration at T will be equal to 65. Substitute these values into the equation and get the value of K. Since I have used the value of time in uh, minutes, the unit of K is also in minutes. Once you get the value of K, the step 2 is use the T half equation. T half equals 0 0.693 divided by K and get the value of t hat and that's equal to 116 minutes. A second order reaction takes 28 minutes to complete 80%. Calculate the time it will take to complete 22% at 25 degrees Celsius. The question is not difficult except that the wording has to be understood. They have said that they have given a time for 80%, you have to calculate the time for 22%. It is a second order reaction, therefore use a second order rate law. It is similar to the previous question, get the value of k using the second order rate law. Once you get the value of k, substitute it and calculate the time to complete 22%. So, let us do the first step. Step 1 is the calculation of k. So, what is concentration of a? We will assume concentration of a initial concentration A0 as 100. So, since it is 80% complete, concentration at T will be equal to 100 minus 80, that is 20. So, at time 28, the concentration of A is 20. So, substitute this into the equation and I get the value of K as 1.4 10 to the power of negative 3 liter divided by mole minutes. So, this is a note that this is a second order rate law. So, I have the value of k. So, I need to get the value of t now. That is step 2. So, here also I know the initial concentration of 100 and concentration at time t is since it is 22 percent complete, it will be 100 minus 22 that is 78. So, substitute all these values. We have calculated the value of k from the previous one and hence I get the time as 2 minutes. 